Uh, very sad, very disturbing, okay? Go to the video. I have background, I have information. Let's put up the screenshot of these officers. This video has been circulating of the LA Sheriff's Department deputies brutally assaulting a black security guard, a black security guard and putting a gun to the back of the security guards head in front of a horrified crowd. According to Cerise Castle, the LA based investigative journalist who uploaded the video. What you're looking at is Blake Anderson. He's a security guard at the Good Batch Lounge. Early Sunday morning, Deputy Rodriguez and his partner pulled up and began beating Mr. Blake. He since lost vision in his eye. He's currently being charged with assault of a police officer for what you just saw. As the video begins, one deputy has Anderson in a headlock while the other repeatedly hits him. You clearly see that. Among the crowd, people witnessing the incident, a woman can be seen yelling at the deputies. He's, he's security here, he's security here, they yell. As one woman repeatedly yells at, at that Anderson works here, one of the deputies is seen pulling the gun out of his holster and holding it to Anderson's back while the other restrains him. Seconds later, seconds later, let's put the picture up. The deputy points the gun to the back of Anderson's head and uses his other hand to hold the civilian's head down. According to Castle, at this point, the deputy said to Anderson, I'm going to blow your effing brains out, okay? Castle also said one of the deputies even pointed his gun at the gathered crowd. According to a GoFundMe page set up by Anderson's sister, Bailey Anderson, to raise funds for her uh, for the medical and legal cost. Multiple witnesses said Anderson was speaking with a customer when deputies got out of their vehicle and proceeded to ambush him with no probable cause, that is from a witness of the incident. Security footage Castle obtained shows the incident was clearly incited by deputies. Let's go to the second one. Okay. So this video does not have sound, but the imagery is much clearer than some of the other videos we've had in parking lots. You will get to see no provocation took place prior to them ambushing the security guard. According to the initial narrative, the security guard created the scene. That does not seem to be the case when we analyze this video. Now, where is this headed? What can happen now? 
Let's get into it. Anderson had been recovering from a ruptured right eye and finally showing signs of his sight starting to return. Prior to Sunday's incident, she wrote, after being slammed into the window, Blake attempted to let the officers know about the current condition of his eye and no avail. Anderson sustained multiple injuries, including a dislocated shoulder, his sister said. Worst of all, the sight improvement in his right eye has now deteriorated, according to her. Doctors say the eye must be cosmetically removed and a prosthetic eye should be inserted. Uh, who's the guy in charge? Once again, the biggest gangster of them all, put him up. Yeah, Alex Villanueva, he is the sheriff, he's in charge and likely a gang member. Yeah, I said it, I can back it up. So what you see in this video, you have a lot of commentary in the comment thread, people saying, well, what did he do to the cops? Well, I just gave you the video, I gave you both of them. There's one version primarily going around on social media, that was the first one. The second one, not so much. You clearly see that the initial narrative of what the police said happened could not have happened that way. All right, Doc, thoughts here. That's clearly a crime scene. I mean, it's it's so hard to watch this video and in the context of all these other videos, even even now that are that are coming out. I mean, part of me wonders, are we is this happening more now? Has it been happening this way all along and we just have video for it? But there have been so many just over the past few months of these kind of videos. Now this particular video, it's just so clear that there's no provocation. So it does make you wonder what what was the agenda? What was there? There's some other story here about some, it's a crime by those two officers and there's some gotta be some other story that it, it was really almost a police hit in a way what we saw there. And so, but God, that is yeah. so, it's just so hard to watch and and so visceral in a way. And so I, I hope they find, I, I hope they find justice and, and it just is so frustrating and infuriating that this kind of thing just keeps happening in this particular way that we don't seem to be learning from, you know, from the message of the of these videos. Yeah, and that's why we continue to highlight them to bring justice in places like this. And we have to create policy in order to maintain the gains that we are making with lawsuits and other exposure methodology. You have to have sound policy. But if the culture does not change, that culture will eat policy alive every day. So while we talk about reform, we also have to talk about replacement. Some of these cops need to simply go. They have to be replaced by better officers.